I'm Diane Wedner, LifeScript.com. Women diagnosed with breast cancer have a lot of decisions to make. One of them is whether to have breast conserving surgery, which removes the tumor and saves most of the breast. Dr. Alice Police, a University of California Irvine breast surgeon, explains who's the best candidate for this surgery and what it entails. Dr. Police, what is breast conserving surgery? Breast conserving surgery is a type of surgery that just like the title says, saves the breast or the healthy portions of the breast. It allows us to remove the tumor with a clear margin, remove lymph nodes if needed, and, and save most of the breast. And after surgery, we put it together in a cosmetically appealing way so that the patient has a nice looking breast when we're done. Which breast cancer patients are candidates for this type of surgery? It really depends on how large the tumor is and how small the breast is. It doesn't really, there isn't a size criteria per se, but if we can remove the tumor with clear margins and have enough tissue left over to make a nice looking breast, um, then that patient is eligible for breast conserving surgery no matter what tumor type that they have. Are more breast cancer patients opting for this type of surgery? Patients have gotten the idea that mastectomy is somehow better, that mastectomy will improve their long-term survival rate, improve their local recurrence rate, and somehow help them. And so there is, there is a pendulum swing towards more mastectomies. Um, many of us with current data, we're really trying to correct that impression. And we're really trying to explain to patients that not only are they not helping themselves, but they may be hurting themselves by opting for a mastectomy over lumpectomy in many cases. It's not a smorgasbord. You don't get to walk up and choose whatever type of surgery you want and get the same results. Will you please describe exactly what is entailed in breast conserving surgery? Breast conserving surgery is basically a tumor that is confined to one area of the breast and it's either that small when we find it or we can shrink it with chemotherapy often and we do very cosmetic incisions. So we try to place our incisions either right around the nipple or in areas where the scar is going to be very cosmetically appealing to the patient. Are women who choose breast conserving surgery at higher risk of a cancer recurrence? The message I really want to get out to women is that in most cases, not all cases, but most cases, your local recurrence rate is not going to be higher with a lumpectomy. And it's an easier operation. We get a woman back to her life sooner. We get a woman back to her family sooner. It avoids many of the complications of breast reconstruction. We're really trying to get most women to see lumpectomy as their go-to operation, needing a, a, a really strong reason to, to have a mastectomy. Do the women who choose breast conserving surgery have to be persuaded to have this particular surgery done? They, like they the say, do a mastectomy, I never want to hear from this cancer right. again, not realizing that that really has nothing to do with their long-term outcomes. So women really can be optimistic now about the fact that they may not get breast cancer, their risk factors may be going down, and if they do get breast cancer, the treatment and the cure is going to be much greater than it is today. Absolutely, and we're seeing that now. The five-year survival rate for stage one and two breast cancer is now almost 100%. And the lifetime cure rates for stage one and two breast cancer are over 90%. So for most women, having an early breast cancer doesn't have to be a catastrophe.